Good morning, everybody. Let's go fishing. Everybody. Today I head back to the Deschutes, try out my Covea Cupid heater in some more challenging conditions in response to some comments I received about my last video. It was below freezing temperatures most of the day and I tried my hand at swinging for some steel, a little bit of Euro, and then some Trout Spay. I caught plenty of trout, but it wasn't until the end that I had my hands full with my 4 weight Trout Spay. See you all on the water. Well, you can tell the salmon have been spawning here. I have a feeling we'll see, see a few of these things, these big boys that came back up, made their way only to spawn and die. Okay, get the fish on. I'm not sure what kind of fish that. Oh, still on? Still on. Let's see. Ooh, ah, little guy. Okay. Let's bring him in. Yeah, nice. Nice trout. Pretty Keep him in the water. Get it up. Ooh. There we go. Okay. The fish is on and the fish is in. Oof. Alright. Let's get that guy. Look at that. That's tremendous. Let's get, get that out of there. Ooh, buddy, I like that. I like that a lot. Ooh, got some cold water. Get this out of here. Nice. Nice. Well, something took this, uh, it might be a white fish, but he's not coming in gently. Take a look. I've got three X on. I don't want to horse it. Oh, no, it's a good looking trout. Pretty. This time of year. Ah, look at that beaut. Look at that fish. Holy Jenny, that's beautiful. Let's see. We got everything out there. Yep, everything's out. Oh boy. Pretty fish. Pretty fish. Let's get him right side up. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, look at that guy. Unbelievable. And away he goes. Yep. There's that little little slot here. It gets a little deep. Pretty shallow run until that little spot there, so nice to see that. Let's try that again, shall we? All right, this is what they call a big problem. There's some dead, spawned out salmon in this river, and if you're trout fishing or steelhead fishing, you catch one of these, you're just waiting for a long time to get your gear back. This guy got, obviously got spooked. I saw him, but I didn't think he'd be chasing after the, oh my gosh. It'll be a little while before I can get this guy in. You can see him out there. Oh my gosh. 
big boy. I'm never going to get him in without breaking him off. Uh, he's just a... Yeah, yeah. He's just not... I really don't want to bother you, my man. But you're just uh, shackling my buzz here. Here he comes. Oh, man. What a hassle. And I don't really want to bother you in your last joint remaining moments on this earth. Uh, <laughs> sorry, buddy. Uh, come on. I just want to take you out. Uh, and, of course, the bigger deal is I'm fishing a four-weight rod. And this fish is probably on the order of 20 plus pounds, right? So there's that issue. Uh, yeah, he'll just take line all day long. I feel bad. Not much I can do about that. I can turn the horse him in, but I don't want to break the rod. I don't mind trying to get him in a little bit faster, but let's see if I can do that. I don't actually know. I feel bad for him. I'm not trying to make his life miserable. He chased after the last fish I caught, thinking the fish was bothering him, but oh boy. Just want to get you in so I can take the fly out of your mouth and you can go on to do your remaining last days. Oh, come on. Okay, here we go. Well, no surprise there. Uh, Luckily, the rod didn't give way. It was the 3X tippet that gave way, or 4X or whatever I'm fishing with here. So, uh, score one for the big guy today. So this is going to be a follow-up to my last video where I did the uh, tent heater and demonstrated how easy it was to put up uh, and how I had my fan, which I have on right now. Not the fan part, but the light part, as you can see. And uh, we're going to see if that makes a difference in how much temperature increase it makes so i'll go ahead and get that set up now you can see i've got that right down here this is the covea cupid tent heater and there it is that's there she blows Okay, that's a carrying handle, important to bring, to bring the feet up as well, so there's that, and then the propane, butane mixture, I guess technically is what it is, it'll fit in the side here, again these canisters that I got, you can get those on. Amazon pretty easily enough. There's a slot that fits. Okay. Got my butane in. And let's see. We'll move this. I think you can see. I hope you can see 31 degrees. I'll put that. We shall put that over here. that over there you probably can't see it but now we'll turn on doesn't get any easier than that and I'll set a timer and we'll come back and take a look at that temperature in a few minutes I'll turn on my fan up above which is this guy up here and we'll come back check out that temperature in 15 minutes Okay, folks, it's been about 15 minutes since I turned that heater on and had my ceiling fan uh, going these days. Let me see if I can show you that. Uh, I can't really, not in this video, but anyway. Uh, you recall we started at about 31 degrees, and I think right now, if I'm looking at that right, I don't know if you can tell, that should say 41. So, tell you what, we'll go another 15 minutes and give you an update. Okay, it's been about 15 more minutes, so it's about 30 minutes since we first took a look at the temperature gauge. The fan's been going. Take a look at old trusty here. It says it's 49.1 degrees. Got down to a low of 26 last night. So, 
okay. In about 30 minutes, we were able to raise it about 19 degrees or so uh, from when we got started, 19, 18 degrees, something like that. Um, you know, you're not going to mistake it for a sauna in here, but uh, certainly is helpful to uh, see what kind of output that can really make a difference with and, and use that fan to circulate some of the heat. Uh, just a reminder, this guy is going to put out something like 5,300 BTUs, about the same as the Mr. Buddy, a little buddy uh, heater that I was talking about earlier in the other video. So uh, these canisters should last uh, on low. I can probably get them to go about five hours. This is the high setting, and that's probably going to last me probably only a, a couple hours. So you can see that uh, if you want to get the temperature uh, moving out, just tick, ticked up to 50 degrees. Um this little heater can uh, can do the trick if you give it a little time and a little help.